Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about NBA 2K20 as well as we're going to be talking about something that nobody on YouTube has talked about and I actually got the idea for this video from Ronnie 2K. Ronnie 2K did a recent interview in which, you know, I want to thank everybody for showing so much love to that video, but Ronnie 2K said, what can we expect? from NBA 2K20 and it got me thinking, it got my wheels turning and I actually decided to say, you know what? Let's talk about jump shooting for next year's game. Now, of course we all know there are many jump shots out there floating around on YouTube, floating around on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever the case may be. Everybody claiming to be the best shooter, this, that, and the third. But I actually want to break down some jump shots that are actually gonna help people become better shooters no matter what build you make. Now, what I want you guys to do is make sure you guys get this video to 3K likes. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the goal, 3K likes. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on notice, and let's get into the video. All right, guys, so check this out. We're going to hop into the first jump shot, which is base jump shot two. Now, what you guys are going to want to do in NBA 2K20 when you guys open up your pack when you spin all that VC to get your player up to 85 or whatever their base overall is going to be in order to get jump shot creator, you want to come in and check out jump shot two and you want to make sure that the base is still the same. Now, 2K is known for switching up a few base names as well as adding in a few numbered base as actual bases for people's jump shots. Now, jump shot two base is a base that is an alternative to base 24, which we'll talk about a little bit later in the video. Not many people use this base. Only a few people use this base because it is uh, adjacent to Kevin Durant's uh, base, which is a pretty good base in the game. Um, I know a lot of people when the game first dropped, people were using jump shot two or Kevin Durant's full jump shot. It's not a bad jump shot at all. Now, hopping into jump shot eight. This is a shot creator jump shot. This is a mid-range jump shot. This is a shooting directly from the three-point line straight ahead to the goal and sometimes from the wings. I would not recommend this jump shot for corner Jays. If you're a person that posts up in the corner because you can't create any offense yourself, then this is not the jump shot for you. This jump shot is for shot creators and people who love to dribble and be able to hit on the move as well as when you stop on a dime, you can flick those feet. Jump shot eight has been in the game for maybe three years now and people like jump shot eight. It hasn't uh, strayed away. The only gripe that people have with this jump shot is that you cannot hit corner threes. And the reason that you can't hit corner threes is not that it doesn't go in. It's that when you pull up for your jump shot from the corner, it always makes you take a two instead of a three. It's really uh, agonizing the people, so most people don't use it. Let's talk about jump shot 11 for a moment. This is a jump shot that literally any guard, small forward, or power forward or center can use and be effective immediately if they're sharp. If you create any build that has any type of sharp or stretch in it, this is the jump shot that you will want to use base jump shot 11 has been in the game for a few years as well as one of those jump shot bases where you say hey <laughs> if all else fails go to jump shot 11 for sure and one thing that i can say is that this jump shot base does work more on stretches and i'll give you guys a base that works uh somewhat a little bit better with guards but you can literally slap this on anybody the uppers really don't matter the uppers for this entire video will just be my main uppers that i use from time to time but you can literally mix in any uppers that you want most of the time the jump shot timing doesn't change with the base that you're using now jump shot 24 the most glitched jump shot and i mean 2k's history this jump shot base can be used by any non-shooting build which means shot creators slashers lockdowns rim protectors glass cleaners post scores if any person has jump shot 24 on just know maybe 90 percent of the time is green uh 93 of the time is going to go in and 95% of the time, as soon as they shoot their first shot and you see that they got base 24 on, you are going to be pissed because you won't be guarding them. It's hands down, man down, and they're going to hit that shot. 
I've been using based um, jump shot 24 since I created my uh, pure lockdown rebirth and like I said it's a glitch jump shot even though I got corner specialist I hit limitless shots with this jump shot I'm just putting that out there this is literally the best jump shot to date for non shooters now base jump shot 49 this is a jump shot that is pretty good for guards whether you're a shot creator a playmaker a sharpshooter if you're a guard from 6'3 to 6'5 or even under 6'3 this base is pretty good for you the only thing that's wrong with this base is it takes a little time to get off the ground so for open shots it's amazing if you're at the wreck and they're l1 r wanting it to you or r1 l wanting it to you and you pull up for three it's going in every time but if you have a defender coming up to you with hands up this might not be the jump shot for you if you don't have the timing down correctly now for all my sharps out there this jump shot for sharp shot creators sharp playmakers like this is a really good base especially for those who love to dribble such as uh sharp shooting playmakers or playmaking sharpshooters if you can get off the dribble and hit this jump shot this jump shot might be green almost every time you know what i mean so it's a really good base i advise people who are guards only to use this base now let's talk about set shot 13 for a moment this right here is chase money's favorite base i do not know why he loves it but this jump shot base is really good for rim protectors glass cleaners and even some non-shooting builds from time to time i don't recommend it just because it's really slow it's really wonky and i like to get some lift on my jump shot and as you guys can see with set shot 13 you don't jump that much off the ground so the contest is definitely coming but if you're wide open you would be able to hit your shots now for a chase using his glass cleaner he was hitting a lot of good threes with his jump shot so i can attest to that chase money is not one of the best shooters in the game which means he's not that great with timing not saying that he's not a good shooter at all but set shot 13 did help him with centers and like i said rim protectors some lockdowns but most of the time it's anyone over seven foot is using set shot 13 if they're not using base 24. now let's talk about lamarcus aldridge base this is literally jump shot 11 but it just gives it a name everybody that uses lamarcus aldridge base and i mean people have been using this base for years people have always relied on lamarcus aldridge base i even know players still until this day that use lamarcus aldridge jump shot period whether they have his base on or his uppers on lamarcus aldridge for some reason just does not falter and lamarcus aldridge jump shot gives you so much lift when you're a stretch shooting with lamarcus aldridge's base you cannot miss so i'm guaranteeing for nba 2k20 this base right here is going to be one of the bases that a lot of people use besides jump shot 11 just so they could they could say hey man i ain't using jump shot 11 yes you are <laughs> it's literally the same exact base you're not fooling anybody man now like i said all these jump shots are bases that will work for 2k20 and the reason why i say that they will work is because 2k will not get away from shooting at all they will never make shooting harder in their game they want people to be able to shoot threes and that's what brings us to trey burke trey burke is one of those jump shots for some of the people that have wonky timing whether they're playing on the delay monitor whether they have bad internet trey burke for some reason is a very good jump shot for latency so for those people out there that have guards that for whatever reason just can't get the timing down on other jump shots try out trey burke trey burke may work for you in some situations just because simple fact that it's pretty good on latency issues pretty good on lag and you know what i mean it's, it's it's really good and also the jump shot landing isn't that bad so you will be able to spot up and shoot threes you won't have that trouble with like how you would with jump shot eight where you would take the jump shot and you would actually pull up for a two instead of a three but i hope i could help you guys with all the jump shot woes for nba 2k20 i want to make sure that you guys understand when nba 2k20 comes out and you create your build if you're going to create a shooter i need you guys to revert back to the jump shots that i talked about in this video if you're a shooter if you're a non-shooting build like it's lockdown slashers stuff like that the first jump shot you are going to want to try out is base jump shot 24 if that doesn't work go over to set shot 13 if that doesn't work go ahead and just shoot yourself in the foot and try base 49 i'm just putting that out there 
but uh this is going to be the end of the video i want to thank everybody for coming through and talking about nba 2k20 with me if you guys have any jump shots that you would like to talk about whether it's bases whether it's uppers let's get the conversation started inside the comment section i would love to know what everybody has been using for 2k19 and which we'll be using and rolling over into 2k20 and i also know if you've been using the jump shot that has been working for years, also let me know that in the comments. Love you guys. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.